the last piece, the second piece, is a very special piece uh, which I learned when I was 12 or 13 years old. And it's called Rela. Rela literally in Hindi means the train. So this composition mimics the sound of a train. So, you know, as a 12 year, 14 year old kid, you enjoy these kinds of compositions. So, but it's still, I remain a kid at heart, so I still enjoy this piece. So, I share it with you. It's called the Rela. And this is a unique drum. You know, whatever you, uh, fr compared to other drums, whatever I speak, actually this tabla almost mimics it. So, if I say, so it's it's incredible, you know, the possibilities with this drum. So this, <laughs> yeah, and then you know, on a particular day, how you feel, the same composition can change so much. So, for example, uh, if I'm you know, feeling low, mellow, the same thing. Can sound so different. Or so the rela is like Korean philosophy, also Indian music and especially tabla has a male and female component. So uh, any composition has a male and a female segment. So is supposedly the male. So is the female segment. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> what would we do without women, right? So <laughs> So, that's the fixed part. That's what your guru teaches you. What you do with it is yours. So, is the composition. And then, and what I say? So, you know, the clearer, so it's very, it was very important when we were learning, not only to practice playing, but it was very important, made, made clear by our guru, it was very important practicing how to say it. Because, and that's what I have learned in all these years, that if I, I can only play as, as well or as clear or as bad as I can say a particular composition. So here it goes. The train from Delhi to San Francisco from under the Pacific.